In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove the key light and also add a mask. So first thing we want to do is hopefully have a project folder for this. So on my desktop, I have a folder that has um, all this stuff. So green screen, and in here I have uh, the green screen effects that I'm using, and you'll probably just have one. I've got an image that I downloaded off the internet, and then I also have these clips that I got off of YouTube that I'm going to put in there too. So let's get into After Effects. And first thing, we should probably just do a File New, New Project. And you might see something in here from the last time you're working. Don't worry about it. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to Composition, New Composition. And we'll just name this Green Screen. And uh, on this preset, make sure you're at this 720 uh, unless you want something different. And then Duration. We're going to just bump this up to maybe 10 seconds or bring it down and then click OK. <clears throat> so that'll get your workspace. Now we're ready to do a file, import, and import your files. So we'll start off by importing the green screen. So let me go back into my green screen folder. And so I want this one and then I'm going to grab one of my backgrounds. I'm holding down Command. Um, to select those different pieces. So import them in as footage <coughs> and they all show up over here. So now I can go ahead and take and I'm going to drag over my background first. If you hold down shift and go from a corner you can bring that. If you need to zoom in or zoom out use the scroller wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those green screen effects. So I'm going to bring it over and position it and I'm going to shrink that down and then now I'm ready to remove the green screen. So on this one I've got a bit of a problem. I need to remove those edges too. So I'm going to uh, do a mask uh, on that one. So if I click on that layer I'm actually going to open it up and probably the easiest way to do this is if you click on this pen tool and I'm just going to kind of click, 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 and then make a complete shape. And I can do more clicks in there. I just did a few. Um, so that creates this mask layer. So now it's only showing the part that I want to uh, keep. To get the green screen out of there, go into Effects, and then go into Keying, go to Key Light 1.2, and come over here to Screen Color, and click on the eyedropper. Click on that green, and that should wipe it away. So now if I do a little bit of scrubbing on there, it uh, removes that part. And then the last part is go back into your project files over here. I'm going to grab one of those green screen effects that I downloaded. So throw that on there. Once again, do effects, king, and bring over um, that key light. Click on the eyedropper again. And mouse click. So and that should bring in that effect. And if it's not showing up in the right spot, uh, one thing you can do, you can kind of come to that layer and move this around so maybe I don't want to show up until a specific uh, point. So and that's how you pretty much set those up. I could pull it, try and get rid of some of this area. Um, you can kind of play some of these settings uh, some of them come in pretty good. This one didn't come in that great, so I could delete it and try and do another one. Um, but that's pretty much how you do that.